What do you, would you guys like that on the cover of one of your books? Of my cannibalism book? <laughs> yeah, why not? For real. Please. Marvel zombies. It's pretty it's fun. That, it's, it's, it's a real human read. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. I support you on the reading button. I think that's a good phrase. I, I, yeah, yeah, it is. That's a good quote book. Thank you very much. I'm it's sure a real, it's a real kick in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is your catch. That is my catch. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, this guy can eat stuff and get psychic impressions of where that food has been. He ends up getting recruited by the FDA, which is the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world. Yeah, that's the craziest thing I thought about this book, is it takes place in a world where, because of avian bird flu, chickens are illegal <laughs> to eat. Which, I mean, as far as like being a food psychic, that's weird. But to take place in a world where chickens are illegal, I thought this is a weird choice. Yeah, yeah. uh, I agree. <laughs> no, no, we're not. It's weird, <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool, I'm glad we all agree on that. Great, it's a breezy fun. <laughs> all right, now, last but not least, we're going to talk about Agents of Atlas number <laughs> eight. <laughs> Uh, which is a great issue. Great yeah, it's a really, really good series. Uh, one of the best things I think about particularly this issue is it's a good entry point. Uh, it has ongoing storylines, obviously, but it really takes a couple of time, a little time at the first couple of pages to really reintroduce the concept, reintroduce the characters, which is really cool. Uh, the big reason we want to talk about this, though, is I don't think anybody's really repeating it. That's yeah. sad, because the comic is really good, and it's well-written and well-drawn, but it sucks that just because maybe it's not popular or whatever, it's not selling well because it's a very enjoyable comic. It's, a, it's been very enjoyable. And these are off the beaten path characters. You know, I thought actually in particular we talk to you guys about this because it seems like Incredible Herb is working. So what what makes what is making Incredible Herb working and how can other titles that are a little that take more, you know, like something you might characterize as more of a B or C character and make it work better and make it more better. <coughs> Well, I think you'd have to say, hire me a Greg. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the first thing. <laughs> no, I, you know, I honestly, I'm consistently shocked and pleased and happy with how well the reception is that Hercules has gotten. So I, the simple answer is I don't know. I love Agents of Atlas. I, I don't know why it's not doing better as well as this Hercules. Parker is awesome. I mean, the thing, we get mentioned in the same breath as Agents of Atlas and, and uh, and Captain Britain, you know, and you know, there's other books like that that are, I think, filling a, a niche, you know what I mean? There is a, there's an audience that's kind of hungry for, for slightly, I mean, it, this word is sort of the kiss of death to a certain extent, it's like quirky stories, you know? Um, I think uh, maybe maybe one 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 thing that, uh, that's been a fun part of her is that our sense of character is a big level of motion, which um, there's, there's a kind of universal appeal with that. Also, I, we work in probably more sex jokes than the other books. That's in my contract. Yeah. Um, but you get a contract. <laughs> I'll tell you after the show. <laughs> so that's a date. Yeah. <laughs> but I, this weekend. I think some of that, you know, some Let of that. Let me check my watch. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's some, I mean, Herc is, is just a great character, both in the Marvel. The Marvel Herc is a great character, and just the way it's, he's been conceived over the years. And, and then we're, you know, then we get a, we get all this free mythology, which is, you know, the most classic yeah, stories it, and the uh, Western Yeah, it can't hurt that Hercules is arguably the most popular fictional character in the past 3,000 years. So I'm sure that, I'm sure that helps a lot also. <laughs> so basically you would say, get you guys to write it and have it be for two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Good advice. And, you know, we can't make any announcements, but Atlas fans should be watching Hercules. So we're going to have a little bit of going on there, maybe. maybe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we, we, we actually, I mean, we got, we played, we had Nemora in, in one of our earlier yeah, yeah. Um Actually, Fred's, Fred's, you created the character that's in Atlas right now, right? Uh, right, yeah, Derek Canada, who's done their the liaison or whatever. Yes, yeah. 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 He's in the issue. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I thought he's in the hot tub at the beginning. Maybe. I can't believe this is how this job goes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's a great title. Definitely pick it up. Uh, it's time for another announcement. Oh, oh boy! So here we go. I second really title we're going to tell you guys about. Uh, let's go to the next slide. Very exciting. Uh, it is, <laughs> it is Justin <laughs> Man. Uh, really Why cool. does he get a logo? What? Why uh, he get they're logo? still working on the logo, but Alex Ross is doing art. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but he got his powers. Can we get the next slide? He was big on a radioactive Justin Man. <laughs> I should have never created that 
fighter name. <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing about this art, which is really cool, I think, is that the spider is turning around to look at you like it's like, <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. That's great. Yeah, that's, exciting. that's great. And that's it for the stack. <laughs> That's, uh, it's a battle. Yeah, no, I know. Great. All right, it's time for our next section, which is my favorite section, because you guys make it, your, uh, make it up. It is your audience questions. For that, we're going to bring up Booth Man. Booth Man! 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 I told you. My yeah. watch says no. No. <laughs> we'll uh, next and first question. If you could do another World War of Hulk as a Spider-Man or a Who would it be? That's a great question. Um, thanks. I would... Uh, I actually thought that... Um, I have to think about that for just a couple of minutes here. Would you have an answer for that part? How about World War Spider-Man? Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's already beaten everybody else up anyway. Just have her take out the entire Marvel universe. You know what? Actually, what I and all the countries thus made you know, whole thing. That, that, yes, exactly. The, the world aspect of it. Um, the uh, one character I always thought would be an interesting character to have put in the Hulk's place, shooting him into space on this alien planet, and have him come back later, would actually have been Doom. Um, mm. uh, mm. Doom somehow would have been a pretty interesting mix on that. Uh, potentially come back with more dangerous allies than Hulk did, and certainly wreak more havoc on a global scale, um, and uh, then more evil in general. <laughs> I'd say World War II. There you go. Yeah, That's I a good one. Right. Do you guys have any thoughts? Um, I don't know. The trick is to have someone that would come back and be very, very angry. Yeah. I mean, like right on the front of the ship. Yeah, yeah. It could be one more Spider-Man that comes back and is just kind of not really happy about it. <laughs> Real bitchy. <laughs> he brings back a bunch of really depressed aliens. Exactly. <laughs> kind of mope around. <laughs> Real emo. Kind of uh, cool. Richard, we ask that. Uh, we're going to give you a couple of awesome gifts. Courtesy yeah. of Pete. Uh, really. uh, let's get the next question. If you could be a god of anything, what would it be? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Of oh. Pete? Yes. No, I'm, I'm just happy you're giving him what you're giving him. Yeah. Uh, this guy, Greg, brought in some awesome gifts for you guys. Woo! So the audience yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo. We've got uh, Hulk posters and Hulk, Hulk action figures. Uh, here, I'll we'll show you. Uh, what was the question? I don't know. Yes. Wow. If, if you could be a god of anything, what would you do? God of anything? That's, uh, well, why would you choose something specific? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of everything. That's what I need to go. Yeah. This is that's like delicious things. Are you thinking uh, like of mythological? Yeah. The um, mythological. Yeah. I'd, I'd be the god of language. Yeah. I'd have the ability to, to, uh, to know all languages, including well, talking to animals. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Uh, Athena's got a pretty good gauge. She's the goddess of wisdom and war, so you can be really smart and still mm -hmm. fuck shit up. And we <laughs> and weave it, <laughs> and weave it, you know, because then, you know, once you get blood on your clothes, you can make a new outfit with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she got Wow. Blood on the weavers! Weaver. 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 Yeah. Uh, Dionysus has a pretty sweet deal. Mm -hmm. doesn't, he doesn't. I mean, the thing is, the gods always have responsibility for stuff. They can be dicks about it sometimes. But, but then, but then he gets rent to pieces and eaten by his priestesses. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but of course, when you're a god, yeah. Yeah, but he was drunk while it happened. Oh, uh, okay. so were the, the priests. Yes, just God of any. Um, how about uh, uh, chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> like the romantic kind? Or all or all romantic 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 romantic. Romantic. Oh, wow. It's like wisdom and war. Yeah, see? Um, I was really, I really like chemistry in high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little nerd. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, I would say the god of comic books. Oh. Oh. Real easy answer. I would have the greatest collection of all time. <laughs> but you still wouldn't have two number one. <laughs> <laughs> you banished it from my collection. <laughs> Raise your hand if you ask that. Please give me some gifts. Let's get the next question. 